Have you been thinking about making a move and New Hampshire is one of the states that you're considering moving to? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go over six reasons why you might want to reconsider moving to New Hampshire. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Shane Moynihan, and I'm a real estate agent and investor based out of Keene, New Hampshire. And if you are someone that is looking to make the move to New Hampshire and this video doesn't completely deter you, then feel free to reach out and contact me. My info is right here and down below in the description. I love helping people make the move to what I think is a great state. And if at any point this video brings you some value, I would love it if you dropped a like and hit that subscribe button. But let's get into these six reasons why you should not move to New Hampshire. Reason number one is the weather in general. So being up north, you're going to have some cold winters and you're going to get some snow. So if you're not used to this, well, most parts of New Hampshire are rural. So at some point in the winter, chances are you will lose power. So it's always good to have a generator on hand ready to go to power at least the essentials in your house to make it by until the power company gets the power back on. And they usually are pretty good at doing this, but sometimes you could be out a couple days which is usually it's within a day they'll get it back to you, but it can get extended depending on how bad the storm is. And of course you get all the seasons, which is great. And summers do get hot, which is nice because you can go to the beach and enjoy the lakes and all that. But sometimes these summers do get humid up here. So that is one thing to keep in mind. And now for the fall and the springtime, these are both really good weather and temperature wise. I really like them. The spring coming out of winter, sometimes you do get a mud season. So if you're in a rural town where you have a lot of dirt roads, it can get a little uh, sketchy because sometimes the mud gets pretty deep and you have to either avoid that road or make sure you can make it through without getting stuck. But yes, you can look at these as negatives or you can look at them as positives because you do get to experience all four seasons. Reason number two is the nightlife. Depending on where you're coming from, if it's a bigger city, you're going to be disappointed with the nightlife up here in New Hampshire. There just isn't really any of it at all. There's a few college towns and a couple of the bigger cities have a little bit of a nightlife, but nothing compared to the actual big cities across the country. So if that's something you're really into, this might not be the state for you. Reason number three is a kind of along the same lines and that is just the food scene and the diversity in general. It's pretty sad. I mean, there isn't a ton of different like ethnic foods that you can try or ethnic communities to go around. So if you're coming from somewhere that has really good like array of foods, New Hampshire might not be the one for you. Of course, the bigger cities like Manchester, Nashua, little bits of Keene and areas like that do have diversity with the food and all that stuff but if you're actually like in a regular smaller town in new hampshire chances are you're not even going to have more than one or two restaurants in your town so that's something to keep in mind reason number four new hampshire has very high property taxes new hampshire ranks number three overall for the highest property taxes across the country and there is a reason for this because New Hampshire doesn't have state income tax or state sales tax. So you kind of get hit hard on the property taxes, but the average for property taxes across the state is just under 5,800. So it is something that you're going to want to take into account while looking at houses and make sure you put that into your monthly budget because it is a lot more than other places across the country. Reason number five, New Hampshire just has a high cost of living. It ranks in the top 10 for the most expensive states to live in across the country. And according to the cost of living index, it's 127.7 compared to the national average of 100. So it is kind of up there in costs. And reason number six, this one's kind of a personal gripe with me, is the roads can suck. And what I mean by this is, especially during winter, one, Sometimes it can just suck driving in the snow. But two is once you get this real hard frost and the ground is frozen, you get frost heaves on the roads, which cause cracking in the pavement and results in big potholes. So this can take a beating on your car. You're gonna wanna try to avoid these potholes as much as possible, or you might 
actually do some front end damage to your car and you probably want to get alignments done and all that stuff but it's something to keep in mind and during the winter time to make sure that the roads aren't covered in ice they salt the roads which is good so you're not slipping on the ice but the salt absolutely destroys your car so unless you take the preventive maintenance like oiling the underneath of your car or you're just really really good at getting to the car wash during the winter and cleaning it off that salt will eat away at your car and it's very frustrating because new hampshire state inspection process they're pretty strict with how much rust they allow to pass inspection or not so it's a pretty contradicting thing there because the reason so many cars are rusted out is because they use so much salt during the winter so that is my six reasons why you might want to reconsider moving to new hampshire and it might not be the state for you but in my personal opinion being born and raised here i love this state and if you're looking for a small town state where there's a good sense of community and everyone kind of knows each other you'll know your neighbor and it's just small towns and it's really nice feeling kind of out rural in the country then this could be the state for you but there is just some getting used to like even i didn't even put this as a reason but like new hampshire doesn't have really any public transportation there's a couple of the bigger cities have bus routes that run at certain times a day and other than that you're really not going to find anything so that's another thing that if you're coming from a big city you're going to have to get your own car and be ready for that expense but like any other state across the country there's going to be some positives and there's going to be some negatives so depending on your perspective and how you look at it and what you're looking for in a state well that depends if this state will work for you and my hope is that this video did bring you some value and again if it did i would love a like and hit that subscribe so you don't miss my weekly videos of real estate related content where i go over everything from market updates to reasons why to live here real estate investing really go through it all and if this video didn't make you say oh hell no to new hampshire and you still do want to either look at moving here or you are having your site set on moving here again feel free to reach out contact info right here and down below in the description and i would love to help you make the move to this great state in my personal opinion and until next time